Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I break down all the goals scored in the Premier League. And today we're doing Everton against Manchester United. And oh boy, have I got a lot to talk about in this game. Um, I'm going to get into the VAR and why VAR is uh, kicking uh, into all the games. And I'm telling you now, it's because of the Super League. I've got to try to do a video on it. I'm going to talk about it on almost every video I do. But it's to make fans hate the Premier League. And that's the whole purpose behind it. But uh, right now, I'm going to comment on this great goal that was scored. But also, I want to show you how terrible this this um, defensive play is right here. So you got the Man United player out here. You've got a runner. You've got the guy who's supposed to be covering him. And maybe or maybe this guy can. And neither of them do anything. It's the first 30 seconds of the game. Off the ball go, look, bump, bump, bump. Goes with him. He tries to double up on this player. Not even having any inkling that he's going to pass the ball. Well, of course, he's going to pass the ball into the space for this guy. And this guy just sort of stops ambles along a bit and just completely lets this guy have a free ball here so there's two man united players against one everton player here and he doesn't can't really tackle him because the space is in behind doesn't know how to really deal with that and they just get a free cross because these guys here won't do don't read the situation don't get across don't run over here to put pressure on him stand here like a lemon thinking they're going to ninja block the cross somehow i don't know what i don't know what they're thinking but all of a sudden you can see look, look i'm going to ninja block it here, here we are a great cross to the back post which is clearly overloaded here it looks like he's over hit it and these two defenders here just kind of letting the ball go no one is trying to make a challenge on this ball in the first 30 seconds of the game it's absolutely terrible defending but it doesn't take away from the quality of this finish. He goes, whappa! Quality finish, young man. Well done. And of course, this guy can't catch it because his hands are too small. He's only small. Uh, Jordan Pickford should never be in goal. Should never be playing uh, as a professional goalkeeper. But apparently, he is somehow. Now, let's just get on to this contract. You can watch this go goal back again and again. Quite, it's quite honestly, it's quite nice and pretty to watch. But the actual build-up play is so simple and easy here. United get away because Everton is just so poor defensively there. Two United players, one Everton player, and they get across the ball. It's just absolutely terrible defending. And the fact that they let this wee man here do that without trying to challenge him, stick it. Because all you've got to do is put your head in. If you put your head in, VAR will say, well, it's a high foot and it's uh, not it's not a goal. Sorry. But he can't do that because he didn't put his head in. didn't try to challenge it. But um, let's do talk about VAR and this penalty that is not a penalty in any way, shape or form. And let me explain to you why. Let's pull that. So let's be clear, starting where it's Ashley Young that gives the penalty away. And I cannot stand Ashley Young. He has everything wrong with proper, you know, with footballers. He's a diver. He's a whinger. He um, dives all the time. He kicks people. Like He is just, I would never have him near my football team. I think if there's an opportunity for me to slag off Ashley Young, I am there. So is this a penalty? No, I've got to back up Ashley Young. It's not. And here's why. Right, so Ashley Young isn't looking to try to make contact with his player. And even if he does, right, okay, uh, is it the player running into Ashley Young or Ashley Young kicking the player? That's the thing you have to ask. Well, here, the player is running into Ashley Young. Ashley Young, I don't know if you know, he's not a magician. He can't teleport himself out the way of the player that's running into him. So what the player does is run into him, kick his foot, and then fall over. Is Ashley Young's foot out there? Yeah. It is. And we're going to show you that right now. But if this is a penalty, there's 100 million penalties that need to be given every day. And the referee is watching it. And in real time, when it's happening real time, he calls it a dive, which it was a dive. The referee gets it right. VAR overturned the referee's decision because they think they know better than this man standing there watching it from this distance away on their monitors because they slow it down. And when I slow it down, you're going to go, oh, yeah, that's a penalty. Yeah, because you're slowing it down and it's not in real time. Now let's watch it in real time. Here we go. Bom, 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 bom. He goes to pull back. You can see that he's not trying to kick the guy. He's pulled himself back. Can we see that in slow-mo to back it up? Yes, we can. The player's running full pelt into Ashley Young. Ashley Young pulls his foot back. Hit the player hits him. Both feet are off the ground and he dives. And the ref gives him a yellow card quite rightly. But VAR overturn it. So this is what they show. Remember, the player in red is in motion running towards the player in blue. The player in blue has stood still. He's not moving. So what, what does the player in blue do next? He pulls his foot out the way. As he pulls his foot out the way, the player's falling over. So the player in red runs into the player in blue, kicks him, falls over, and they give a penalty for it. It's never a penalty. Um, you know, I go back to why VAR. If anyone's watching this without your uh, Man United bias goggles on, because it's hard, right? You've got to take those goggles off and just say, you know, look at what you see. You see a player runs into another player and falls over. It's definitely a dive. 
Okay, it's not a penalty. If the player in blue legs extends with any force, because think about it, the player in blue, if you hit his leg when you're running full pelts, you'll kick his leg out of the way. Because he's not really, you know, um, trying to actually push his foot out to touch you. His foot's dangling. You're just going to push it out of the way and carry on running. He doesn't. He dives. Let's have another little look and I'll show you again. Here we go. You can see Ashley Young, the Muppet, is checked. He sticks out his foot, dangles it out, dangles it out. As he dangles it out, he pulls it back a bit. Oh, look, and they stop it. Because if they don't, it'll automatically show you that it wasn't a, um, a penalty. So the next point we've got is this VAR, which I'm going to start talking about more and more. I want to do a whole video breakdown on it. They can't bring the Super League in because everyone loves the Premier League and it's fantastic. But if you get all the fans pissed off at the Premier League because of VAR and bad refereeing decisions, what you do is you start chipping away at that. And it doesn't happen in the next three years. It doesn't happen in the next four years. But it happens over time where fans will be recipient to people saying, hey, we've got the best referees in the world in the Super League. We won't have these problems in the Super League. You know, all those problems you've got in VAR and all this financial fair play decisions and all these things with people losing points and all this. We won't have that in the Super League. We're going to have a robust system. So none of that will happen. We'll have all these rules and everything ironed out. Come over to play on our new thing. And all the fans will go, yep. Because what they'll do over year in, year out, week in, week out, is erode the trust of the Premier League and the fans with things like this. Because I'm telling you right now, you ask, oh, I don't know, 100 people, 50 people will say that's not a penalty. 50 people will say it is. And then you'll find out which team they support. And you'll probably find out that in real time, everyone will call it a dive. But when you slow it down and you look at it like that, you go, oh, it's definitely a penalty. It's definitely a penalty. The player in red has kicked the foot of the blue player and fallen over. What do you mean the player in red's kicked the foot of the blue player and fallen over? Well, yeah, but it's a penalty because his foot's there. What? You're, you're talking rubbish. That's never a foul anywhere on the field. It's not even a penalty. Like... But it doesn't matter because now everyone is doing what they're doing, arguing and yelling about VAR, about controversial decision. Would was everyone be fine if the ref just gave him a yellow card for diving? Yeah, 100%. Right? No one would even think twice about it. The problem is when you look back at it in real time, it's never a penalty. In VAR, it always looks a penalty. It always looks bad. And now everyone just goes, oh, boof. VAR is ruining the game and they'll keep going on. That discussion will keep happening until they get their way of getting rid of the Premier League and going on to the Super League. But bearing in mind, I'm talking about five, six years down the road. Smart people with billions and billions of quid come up with these concepts and these ideas. Because I'll tell you right now, if I was in these shoes, I'd be doing the same thing. I'd be wanting my club to be in the Super League if I was a billionaire cutthroat businessman and I'd be doing it by using VAR to undermine the fans interests and I'd be having the fans slowly but surely hating the Premier League and they are so let's just go on to the last goal and show you that one well before we do that we'll show you a little kick box when he kicks it in the net box here he comes smack it in the net box good job there we go we can see here though um, Everton we were attacking actually Everton had most of the run of the play to be fair until that penalty all happened uh, I can see it being a 1-1 uh, draw um, and it was interesting, I was listening to um, the United Stand, and I was listening to Goldbridge uh, chat shit again. I love you, uh, Goldbridge. Normally his takes are right, but when he's talking about United, quite often he gets his United goggles on, and he chats shit. And what I mean by chatting shit about United is the fact that they are papering over the cracks, and this is what he doesn't quite understand. Football always wins. Good football wins. Bad football will always, always put you in trouble. So if you're playing bad football, which United are at the minute... It's going to come back and get you. If you're playing good football and you're losing, you can deal with it because you know sooner or later what football wins. And every coach that I've ever worked with, we always know, yeah, but football wins. So they might beat you and um, you're looking at it and he goes, yeah, yeah, but you're going to beat me because you've got a better team. You're playing the right way and it's just a matter of time until it all clicks. However, this play here from United is a bit of football wins and it's pretty good. Except for look at the gaps here at Everton. It's huge. But, we move this ball in here, bump, and it comes into Ratface. Ratface sees the run out of the corner of his eye, and look at that gap. Look how big that is. Dunk, and he puts a through ball through, I don't know, the eye of a needle right there, because that's a really tight, really tight pass. And he pulls it off, and then we have a quality finish against a rubbish goalkeeper. He comes out with his arms flailing. Look at the starting position here with his arms flailing, right? He's better off if he stays on his feet here and keeps himself big one of the rules of goalkeeping when you come out make yourself big and stay on your damn feet because if you jump down to the floor you can just put it over you guess what this idiot does and look what goes towards the ball is it his hands body chest or feet feet he like tries to two foot the guy watch what he tries to do 
I'm not sure what this goalkeeper tries to do is this ball comes in, right? Here he comes. Make yourself big. Stand in front of the player. Make him go round you. Do something. No. He tries to two-foot him. He tries to go. He gets off his feet. And then this is why I hate Jordan Pickford. He's just made an awful mistake. Okay. By the way, even if he comes out big and the guy scores, fine. Whatever. But when you two-foot someone in the goal area like that, he puts over you. You look an idiot. But this is why I don't like him. Watch what his reaction is right here. Looks at his players. Oh, you can't see it. He looks at his players and he starts blaming everybody else. Because I was watching this live. And he just starts or turns around and starts blaming everybody else. Now, you know what? Sometimes goals go in. But you don't start yelling at your teammates, especially when you're 3-0 down. You don't need that. Everybody knows it's a goal. You don't need you running your mouth and putting everybody down. Yeah, don't like the kitty. Um, but thanks. If you're still here, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football. Thank <music> you.